Assistant women's basketball coach here at Savannah State and this is my third year on the women's side and I also did two years on the men's side so it is my fifth year overall here uh, as a Tiger. How have the volunteer help that the girls did? Anytime young adults can go out and give community service, it's an awesome experience for everybody involved. Um, this year's team consisted of 10 freshmen and three sophomores. So, you know, they grew up in the me generation. So now that they can go out and give to other people, I think it's a tremendous experience for not only them, but the young ladies that are also receiving um, on the receiving end of, of the community service event. Our girls got to go out there and teach them basketball pointers um, and did it with great energy and enthusiasm. I have the drills that y'all talked down with the girls this year have helped. You know, basically, when you have so many young kids, you start from, from the ground and build up. You do a lot of fundamental skill work. Some kids are going to be a little more advanced in terms of their skill work, so you can do higher level things with them. But basically, you got to start from the beginning and just build your way up. What have you learned from being a coach, from being around the girls, and what do you think they have took, him, took back from you? Know? Well, uh, one thing that coaching the women has definitely taught me is patience. Uh, when you have 15 women, um, you know, you have 15 different ideas, um, so you got to be patient and listen to everybody. I think that's very important to listen to everybody's needs um, before you make an evaluation or an assessment. And, um, you know, in terms of the ladies, I'm hoping that, you know, they're learning accountability and responsibility. Those are two things that are going to carry them a long ways in terms of life after college um, in their professional fields. What made you want to be a coach? Well, you know, I grew up playing basketball in high school. I was the captain of my high school team, um, played in college as well. And, you know, coaching is, is just like community service. It's, it's a tremendous way to give back um, to those who, who are interested in it. And a lot of times in basketball, you have, um, you know, a, a group of people that have lesser financial means. So being able to help them get into college um, through a scholarship, that, that's tremendous. And, you know, seeing those kids walk across that stage after four or five years, that, that's what it's all about. The hardest challenge of being an athlete is more to say balancing your schoolwork and practice all at the same time. What's next after college is me becoming an orthodontist. I want to open up my own business. My goals for after college is to become successful in anything that I do. I want to um, be successful at it. I'm a center here at Savannah State University. What's your What's the um, hardest challenge of being an athlete? The hardest challenge of being an athlete is mainly managing your schoolwork and your athletic work because you want to be able to perform great in the classroom as well as on the floor. What's your next goals after college? My next goals after college is to hopefully attend overseas or the WNBA. If not that, then hopefully I can become a an athletic trainer for a very high major basketball program. What's your goals? What you want to do after, like goals with um, basketball or anything after college? If I'm um, hopefully my main goal is just to make it overseas in the WNBA. If that doesn't work out for me, then I'm just gonna, you know, give basketball a rest after my four years in college. I think the hardest challenge probably will be managing going to class and trying to compete at a high level. Whatever I do, I just want to be successful. Hi, my name is Brandon Smith and I'm a huge fan of the women's basketball team. Coming to the basketball games is like a breath of fresh air, honestly, because when you get there, the atmosphere is electric and the play is actually pretty impressive. I've seen these girls do things that maybe I can't even do. I know I'm lying now, but... <laughs> 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 All right, uh, I find it very exciting to sit in the front seats because I'm like right up close with the action, you know? And these girls are like so athletic out here and it's so exciting once it's, when it's a close game. They don't give up, they never quit, and they keep fighting to the end. And that's the most impressive thing I like about them. Is there anything else you want to add? Is there anything else I want to add? That girl, Hanaya Moten, yo, she be balling. She did this one move 
where I seen her like, she like stuck right, which made the defender back up, right? And when she stuck, she like stuck, and then she backed up at the same time, like a little James Harden move. And the girl just backed up, was wide open three, hit it, boom, right in the eye. The nastiest thing I've ever seen in my life. So like, yeah, I love this team. It's amazing.